Hello everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. and Blessed Ostara. So originally I had all kinds of nice plans for today, but alas, they kind of got ruined because my deck guy had to reschedule. I am currently working on replacing my deck and I'll actually show it to you here. Let me switch the camera. So this is what they have done so far. They pulled up all of the boards and I have to show it to you through the glass door or the dogs will run out and I don't want that because obviously they'll fall through so sorry if it's a little blurry here but yeah I'm getting the deck replaced there's a lot of rotted boards and water damage so that's what they're working on here so I thought instead of my original plan what I'll do is, since they're doing that today, to still, to still celebrate the holiday and show appreciation to the mother, I will be converting my hutch in my living room to an austera altar. And I'll be using some of the things that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and Michael's. And where else did, oh, Target Dollar Spot. I'll also be using some of that. So I thought I would share that all with you and show you how I'm going to be decorating. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before I start decorating the hutch, I want to DIY some things that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I have this styrofoam bunny, some wood bunnies, and then these smaller uh, carrots and bunnies this wooden egg, and then I'm also going to be doing some of these cute little rabbits. I'll be utilizing some of this tissue paper and also some reindeer moss. And let's see, I'll be using some Mod Podge, some different color paints, and some glue. So I think first what I'm gonna do is work on the bunny. And I want to do a really earth tone bunny. So I want to cover this whole styrofoam bunny using glue and this reindeer moss. So I'm just going to paint on some glue and as I go put the reindeer moss on. So let me go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and primed the mini rabbits and carrots. So now that they're dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint them. So the carrots obviously are going to be orange and green. And then I think I'm gonna do a mixture of brown and gold for the rabbits. So let me go ahead and do that. And then off screen, I went ahead and stained these wooden bunnies. I used my stain in Early American here. So in addition to that, I wanna go ahead and do something with this egg. I think I'm going to Mod Podge some of this cute little bunny tissue paper on there and then maybe put together one of these bunnies from the Dollar Tree and put that on top. And I think I want to use a paint marker, I'm not sure what color yet, maybe gold, and write Ostera. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll see how it turns out. Also, here is an update on the deck. 
So it's looking pretty good. They replaced all the floorboards here. They still need to replace over there and over here, of course. And then there's some structural damage that they've been replacing underneath as well. But so far, I think it's looking pretty good. So this is the current chaos of my hutch. <laughs> It's a complete mess and usually serves as a catch-all, unfortunately. So I'm going to clear this off. So let's use some YouTube magic and make this all disappear. And this is how it turned out. I think it is so beautiful. I'll zoom in here so you can see some of the things. So this is the moss bunny that I did. I left his head and his ears um, uncovered with the moss and painted it with this brown and it looks like terracotta. I really like it. Let me move this bunny so you can see it better. But I thought that was so cute. And then I have a bird's nest here with a mini moss bunny and some of the wooden carrots and rabbits with some gold eggs. Then I have some other mini bunnies throughout the altar as well with some crystals. This is a candle holder, so that's gonna look beautiful at nighttime. Have some dried roses there. I would have liked to have fresh flowers, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used some of these. And then, Here's some of the stained bunnies with the carrot garland that I got from Dollar Tree. And then here's this beautiful basket that I got from uh, Michael's. And then I filled it with some of the eggs from Michael's and then with the carrots and the rabbits that I painted. This beautiful altar cloth I had got as a gift, I believe it was last year, from Amazon. So I'll link it in the description down below. And then I have this little tin cauldron and I hung my green man. And I just have some eggs and rabbits and a carrot. And then this is how the little egg turned out that I did with the bunny. I was going to write Austera on it, but there didn't seem to be enough room. So I just left it how it was. And then I added some gnomes with another bunny. But yeah, overall, I think it is so beautiful. I love it so much. And then last but not least, our deck is completed. I think it looks so good. Obviously, some of it uh, stayed how it was. So I'm gonna sand these ones down and just repaint the whole thing. But I think it looks good. We got this part done over here and one of the steps needed replaced too. So we got that all done. Currently all my deck stuff is in the yard, so I gotta bring that back up. But yeah, I think it turned out really nice. They did a great job. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked me putting together an Ostera altar. If you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye!